Here is part two of James Charles grooming a minor. James Charles posted this paragraph on his Twitter. And then the boy who said he was groomed by him responded to his tweet by saying, James, we both know I blocked you. You never asked for my age. After I told you I was 16, you proceeded to ask me for nudes and said it didn't matter. You called me hot and said, I wish the timeline could speed up so you can be 18. The boy posted this on his tweet. For those who don't believe the age thing, this is was me messaging my best friend who I lawed at the time about it. So one of my Snapchat videos I want to send, but basically what I said like an hour ago was that I get what you're saying, it makes sense. Um, I'm not going to make any big steps yet, I'm just going to kind of wait it out to see what goes on from here. Even though he already did it. If he asks for something again, then that's when I'll consider it. But if not, then... But he still did it, like that's the only problem. I don't know. I don't know. We, we just have to talk about it more. The boy said that his age was on his Instagram highlight and TikTok. Also, he said he gonna cock the police. Also, Trisha Paytas posted some tweets and the Jens Charles situation. Also, Keemstar, the owner of Drama Alert, talks about the James Charles sexual allegations. Fucking three times a year, we're reporting a story that somebody on TikTok is exposing James Charles for private messages, right? Oh, he was sending sexual stuff to me, and even though I told him I was straight, and he kept pursuing me. And then, you know, James Charles will put out a defense. Well, he was queer baiting me. He lied. He said that he was, you know, bi-curious or whatever. This has happened so many fucking times. I don't even remember how many times it fucking happened. The point is, is how does James keep getting caught up? We always come to the conclusion that James Charles is the victim and these other people are just out for clout and attention. Okay, okay, but now we got two situations and regardless if they lied about their age or not, James Charles most likely committed a fucking crime. You can't send naked pictures to yourself, to a minor, even if that kid lied about his age. Still a fucking crime. The law doesn't fucking care. And now this has happened twice. You know who keeps putting himself in this situation? James Charles. After almost getting it canceled, after this story's being huge and everyone covering it, and all the drama channels talk covering it, he still gets by, by, by the skin of his fucking teeth and continues the fucking behavior. All right? I don't think James is a victim anymore. It doesn't matter that kids want clout, that kids lie. He's acting fucking stupid. He's acting reckless. He's messaging fans for hookups, and he's getting caught up for himself. James Charles has now admitted to sexting to minors 14 years old in July of 200, 2016 years old just today. In both cases, James says they lied about their ages. It does not matter they lied. It's still a alleged crime. Both times according to state laws, James could get arrested. So do you think these both boys are lying? Let me know in the comments.